being inadequate or that somebody has more than I have because we're multidimensional beings we operate in much higher levels and we're just not aware of it. We don't know who we are. We think we're this little itty bitty thing because we have this sense of separation. We're, we experience separation. We think we're very small. We think we're, we can be destroyed at any moment because we identify with our bodies and with our minds and emotions until we go beyond that. We feel inadequate and we're afraid. So understanding is everything. Understanding the awareness, expansion of our awareness into being still, into being silent, into realizing that the entire existence is one organic phenomena. It's all connected to each other. And you are that. And you're perfectly where you're supposed to be. You're perfect the way you are. Exactly how God, creator, wants to express itself through you and I. And then you begin to see the perfection. And as a result of that, the mind becomes quiet. And your vibrations begin to rise to a higher frequency. And as your vibration changes, naturally, your life quality changes too. And it doesn't matter what is going on in the outer world. It's what's going on in your inner world. That's what counts. Any questions? Anybody wants to share or has a question for me? Let me go. Oh, wow. Nothing in the chat box. Any comments? Hi. Hi. Nice to see you. Well, welcome back. Salam. Hi. <laughs> Well, welcome back. Thanks. Hello. 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 Hi, Shadi. Hi. I just quickly. Nice um, to see you. Nice to see you too. Thank you so much. I just wanted to use this opportunity. Um, I don't usually go on the video. I'm usually running around, but I love to attend your Wednesday classes. But I wanted to take this opportunity to really thank you for the extended, um, life extended training that we did together. Um, I just wanted to bring that up to your attention again and just say I'm so grateful for that. And I really, really um, had had a lot of shifts and growth through working with you and I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Are you welcome, uh, Shadi? It, it was, it has been and it still is a delight working with you. Yeah. Uh, I enjoyed it. Yeah, I'm very, very happy that you decided to extend your training program and uh, and you broke yeah, through. You're, you're doing, and it worked yeah. out with this during this pandemic because usually you don't even offer it. So as you said, as you were saying in your classes that everything happens exactly the way it did. And I think for me, I think that was what I was the course of action that was taking place. So I just wanted to thank you again very much. <laughs> you're very welcome. I'm very proud of you. So... Keep, keep up the good work. You're doing so well. Thanks. Hi, Monica. Hi. 
I, I would Hi. Like to say, so, share something. I uh, felt today it was a very good uh, meditation. It was the first time I really felt that, that uh, I, di I really understand what it is about. So now I can go on with that. And during the meditation and the splendid thing you have told us about uh, jealousy today, I heard during the meditation, I have everything I need. And thank hmm. you. You're welcome. Thank you for sharing. I appreciate it. Yeah, you. I'm very happy to hear that. That uh, it takes it takes time um, for for this awareness to settle, for this intelligence to click in in our daily practice and routine understanding of this teaching. Because this teaching is completely opposite of what being taught today in in uh, pseudo spirituality in New Age. So, and what we've been told all of our childhood from the time we we remember by our parents and teachers that we've been continuously bombarded and brainwashed and conditioned. Uh, to believe uh, that we that I am my mind and I am my emotions and I'm this body and and then you come across this teachings that is telling you that you're not any of it and then on top of it the teaching tells you you have no free will. <laughs> And that is a big blow to the mind because the mind will come and say, because you only hear that in your thoughts. And the mind comes and say, what do you mean I don't have free will? You hear that. You mean, but I can do this and I can do that. But it's only a thought telling you that you can do this and you can do that. Because the mind wants to believe that it's in control and, and it can manipulate things to get what it wants. It can't accept the fact that it's a non-factor and actually something bigger is running the show. That's the initial like impact. But as you settle into it, you take, you take one step back and you kind of relax into it. Oh, you mean I'm not in control of my life? Oh, okay. Means I don't have to worry about any kind of outcomes. And then that's the acceptance of what is and trusting. And then all of a sudden you can see there's a harmony. There's a Something is running the show. Something putting food in your mouth. Something is paying your bills. Something is taking care of you. Something much more intelligent than you and I. And that's where the fun starts. Once this shift starts to happen. And you see... You don't see imperfection in the world anymore. You see that it's perfectly designed to be the way it is. So your desire to change things in the world kind of disappears. Yet you may be an instrument to make changes, but you're not the one who's changing things. It's that wants to change things through you. And that shift in your consciousness and awareness opens up the gateway to so much more. <laughs>